So hey everyone, it's Trevor Turnbull here again from Sports Networker and I want to introduce you guys or possibly reintroduce you to Chris Mathis who is the founder of Sponsor Pitch. How's it going Chris? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having us back on Trevor. Yeah, no problem. So uh, Chris and I were talking about this uh, a few minutes ago but I actually was doing my back research to learn a little bit more about Sponsor Pitch and realized that you and Lewis had done an interview back in December of 2008, so that's three years ago. Obviously, lots changed since then. So maybe give us a, a for those of the, those people that aren't inter, are, um, uh, knowledgeable about Sponsor Pitch, maybe give them the the once over on what is Sponsor Pitch. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, it's been a while since I was uh, was uh, doing that interview with Lewis, so appreciate the opportunity to come back on and kind of update you guys on what's on what's new. Okay. Um, so basically, at its heart, Sponsor Pitch is a professional network that allows 6,000 or a little over 6,000 members now the opportunity to come on and connect and collaborate with their peers from across the world in a you know whole new, different, kind of real-time way. Um, and so as part of that, it's for buyers, sellers, anyone activating a sponsorship, measuring sponsorships, looking for jobs. Whatever your place is in the sponsorship industry, we've got a place for you on Sponsor Pitch and got something to offer for you. So that's what uh, that's what Sponsor Pitch is kind of all about. Cool. So um, in 2008, like I say, you were you guys were going into beta at the time, right? And um, you know how have, how have things evolved over time? I know you know you, it's it's to its core, as the name says, Sponsor Pitch. It's really about helping people. Uh, understand the whole sponsorship world as it relates to the sports industry in general. Um, how has it evolved over those three years? What kind of new things have you guys implemented over this time? Yeah, totally. So we started out in, like you said, in 2008, uh, and the name Sponsor Pitch really started from the idea that, um, you know, in, in my old job, I uh, bought sponsorships for an agency and would constantly get pitched new opportunities. Um, would uh, would get proposals and cold calls and people sending boxes of stuff, <laughs> premiums and uh, yeah and, uh, and things like that. So it was constantly sort of getting pitched these sponsorship opportunities. So the original idea for the site started out as a as a way that uh, sellers could come on and put all that information online and kind of put all that information online in a coherent and and uh, indexed way so that buyers and agency people and, and brand marketers could go on and sort of sort through these different opportunities based on what they were what they were looking for, find out the information that they wanted to get before having, you know, a more formal discussion about uh, about what a sponsorship could do for them. Right. Uh, so that was the original idea and you know that's where the name sponsor pitch really came from. Mm -hmm. um, since that time we've you know we've gotten thousands and thousands of members and talked to the people that are using the site and one of the things that we really found and and maybe in the initial uh, launch of it underestimated was really the social the, the, the social aspect to it and the power that um, sort of user generated data can provide to our members and um, so through that we sort of started to understand that you know, people didn't necessarily want to come onto our site and just throw up a proposal and then go away. Right. They understand that there's no magic bullet to sponsorship, right? They understand that it takes work and that to be a part of the, uh, you know, to be a part of a network that allows you to, to um, learn things like which sponsors are spending on which kind of sponsorships, when they're spending, who's making the decisions for them. Um, See what a a business is all is is all about, and who their competitors are. Talk, you know, even talk to people within the network who have worked with a particular sponsor before. Those are the types of things that are really important to our members. Not necessarily just throwing up a proposal, you know. And so that's sort of one of the aspects, the really social aspect to what we're doing, um, that really sort of caught our eye and made us realize, you know, we are onto something here, and we have to restructure the network to make it more social and to sort of optimize it to make it you know real time and social and relevant so that we're sending the the most targeted and relevant information to our members that we can so that they can take that information and then go and they can sell a sponsorship they can find an agency they can find a job they can uh, find a sponsorship opportunity if they're a marketer 
those things, you know, making it a lot more targeted and a lot more real time. There's nothing out there that we, we found that was really doing it at the time. And so since 2008, we've done a lot of restructuring of the network to make it a lot more personalized to, to the user. Yeah. Uh, and so that's sort of the core of what we've, what we've, you know, what we've done since I last talked to you. So you guys have really filled a need in the, uh, in the market as, um, well, essentially the world has changed, right? I would imagine that the, the whole sponsorship industry um, over the years has evolved very slowly in the sense that, you know, the old school mentality might have been that, you know, knowledge is power <laughs> and you should keep it. But um, in today's social world, obviously that knowledge is power and people are willing to share it. So you're really giving them a platform to connect with other people that are looking to learn as well as share what they've uh, um, experienced themselves over the years as professionals in the industry. Correct. So, you know, one of the interesting things was I, I went back to grad school and then came back to the sponsorship industry basically in 2007 or 2000, yeah, around 2007. Uh, and it was amazing how, to me, how people were still using, you know, paying 400 bucks for a source book that was outdated, you know, a few months after it was published. People were still paying $1,500 to go to an, a, an annual conference once a year um, to network with a few hundred other people. Like, you know, there were all these things that we viewed as very sort of archaic practices. Um, and so one of the things that we've tried to do as sponsor pitch is make it so, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're open, we're easy to access, we're, you know, you can get into the network 24 hours a day and you can network with other people, you can get access to data that's valuable to you 24 hours a day and make it sort of real time, accessible and open to, uh, to our members and you know to, to your point that information is power I think what we've learned from our members is that and what I've learned from talking to people that sell sponsorships you know 10 hours a day is yeah. starting your sponsorship search from scratch is a really really tough thing right yeah. so just coming to it and saying this is what I you know this is what I want to sell how do I go about doing it is a really really tough task and so if someone can come to us and find that there's 1,600 brands that have already been indexed by category, you can instantly find out what you know of these 30 brands in the airline category what what they're spending on, what the trends are that you know what types of sponsorship opportunities they're looking to 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 uh, to partner with, when they typically sponsor, who makes the decisions for them. You can talk to other members that have. Worked with a worked with a sponsor in the past and find out what makes them tick and what what makes them more uh, you know more interested in certain types of opportunities. If you can come 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 to a place and rather than having to carry all that burden yourself and recreate the wheel the the research wheel that everyone's doing throughout the industry, if you can come to a place and and find that information out in two minutes versus spending two hours from scratch to do it on your own, that's a pretty valuable and compelling sort of uh, value proposition that we can that we can offer and that's sort of the power of, uh, of social media and and what we're you know what we're putting together here um, not only does it help you do your job better but it's just a faster more efficient way to do it yeah no it's great I just I just signed up uh, like a week ago so I'm just starting to dive around but um, getting excited by all of the things that I'm seeing in there and looking forward to getting my hands into it a little bit more here Okay, so let's talk specifically about uh, a client that you guys work with, or a partner, I should say, uh, in Major League Soccer. Maybe tell us a little bit about uh, that partnership that you have with those guys. Sure. So, um, so anyone can come on and sign up for Sponsor Pitch as a you know individual professional. Um, and so, kind of what we found uh, based on our membership um, was that a lot of the same organizations, people from a lot of the same organizations, kept signing up and kept you know getting active within the network. Um, so what we've, what we've done recently is sort of partnered with a few different organizations and leagues uh, to help um, them learn about sponsor pitching and, and make, the, make the resource available to, to their entire organization. Um, and so that's sort of what we're doing with, with Major League Soccer is trying to make it more widely available to everyone within their organization. And I you know, applaud Major League Soccer for sort of taking the initiative and, and being 
forward thinking with uh, with something like this, and uh, and so that's sort of where that uh, where that came from, and as part of that, uh, sponsor pitch is available to uh, executives within the within the uh, team front offices throughout the you know throughout the country. Nice. Well, yeah, obviously a, a great success for you guys, and just showing that you are, are growing, and there's uh, great things to come here in the future. And I'm just looking at the dashboard here right now, Chris, and I see. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Obviously, the ability to update your profile. There's, you know, updated news to, to you know, kind of have your finger on the pulse on what's going on. Sponsor information, property information, connect with other people. There's jobs inside here. Uh, it's really um, evolved, right, over the past few years. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. If you sign up, then the first page that you'll get is sort of the dash, what we call the dashboard. Um, which gives you a quick snapshot of the you know the the five or ten um, things that are happening today in in the industry, uh, you know, and, and then what you can do from there is then then follow different brands that you're either working with or want to be working with. You can follow other people in the network that you are working with or want to be working with. You can follow uh, properties within the network that uh, that maybe you work with or that you are uh, or that you work at, and so. From that first page, what we're really trying to do is give you the information that is most important to you. So whatever you're following within the network, that that information, the, the most recent updates from that will come directly to your dashboard so that when you log in, uh, you know, Trevor, if you're if you want to follow certain properties in Vancouver or you want to follow certain you know brands um, that are up there, what you'll get when you sign in is is updates based on those brands, those properties, and the people within your professional network. Nice. Uh, so that's what that's all about. Nice, nice. Well, I look forward to diving into this more. And um, uh, Chris has actually uh, agreed to do a webinar with us here over the next couple of months, so uh, likely in February. So stay tuned for that. We're going to give you guys uh, a heads up on that one. That will be for the members of our Sports Executives Association. And we'll really dive into all this stuff in more detail and show everybody the functionality and what you can do with it. So uh, in the meantime, Chris, tell everybody how they can go and check out sponsorship and or sponsor pitch rather and sign up. Sure. So all you have to do is go to sponsorpitch.com and uh, the sign up takes about uh, probably less than less than 10 seconds. So sign up and uh, and take it from there. Nice. Well, thanks very much for doing this, Chris. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, Trevor.